a film is telling a story and it has to be compelling and and their suspension of disbeliefs and so nothing against the storytelling but on a purely technical level uh, with today's technology an EMP rifle self-contained is not realistic at all the reason is that the power source that's required for the rifle is large it's about the size of a truck so modern technology isn't at that stage and I don't know when they'll get there it's I don't think it's foreseeable in the near future. My own research in pulse power is at the other end of the spectrum. I try to make pulse power systems that do things very efficiently and require very little energy. An EMP source uses megajoules of energy, millions of joules of energy. It compresses them into power levels that are billions of watts. We use sources that are less than one joule of energy, more than a million times less energy. And we compress them into short pulses that might be 10 nanoseconds long. One nanosecond is that. That's how far light goes in one nanosecond. So we use those to try to change the chemical mix in a combustion chamber of an engine. Uh, the goal is to reduce the amount of fuel that's required to operate a car and to reduce pollution. There's a lot of research going on to make power sources much more compact. It's a big problem. The EMP is, you could say, is a minor one compared to everything else. <laughs>